Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, your host Matt, home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials, and we are finalizing our series on uh, some of the most popular WordPress contact form plugins in the WordPress plugin space. And I'm saving uh, the last for easy WordPress contact form plugin, WP Forms Lite. Uh, it's a mouthful because it's made by the team over at Awesome Motive, Cyan Balky's team, uh, famous for the Optin Monster plugin uh, in WP Beginner. So you can very well know that all the keywords are in there <laughs> to make sure he gets found uh, for contact forms. 30,000 plus active installs, uh, four and a half stars out of 45 reviews a newcomer to the market uh, of contact forms. And uh, I saved Caldera and WP Forms Lite till the end because I feel like they're two very opinionated uh, contact form solutions that are out there. Uh, WP Forms Lite, of course, is uh, the light version. You'll see that there are a lot of upsells to the pro version to do some uh, more um, intricate marketing features. And I think that's where WP Forms is really sort of setting itself apart from all of the other contact forms as to say that, look, I think that this is going to be something that, where it's going to be a heavy focus on conversions, marketing. I mean, why not? Uh, awesome Motive has a whole bunch of other tools, you know, again, uh, Optin Monster for email capture uh, to improve your marketing efforts. So I imagine they're going to focus on that with the Forms plugin. Okay. Um, not to say that the others, I keep having to repeat this uh, as I go through because I just need to make it aware that not to say that other contact forms in my roundup don't integrate with MailChimp um, or ConvertKit or, you know, Google Analytics, whatever. A lot of them do. A lot of them have add-ons. A lot of them include add-ons depending on where you, if what level you purchase them at. Uh, but I just feel like the, the opinion of a contact form really shapes how you use it, okay? Let's build a basic contact form with WP Forms. I've already got it installed and active. I'm gonna go over to WP Forms. I'm going to go to All Forms, and I already created a testing one, but I'm gonna click on Add New, and you can see that, like Ninja Forms, it takes you to this sort of immersive uh, interface where you're you're not in the traditional WordPress dashboard. It allows them to be able to create some um, really, again, immersive and creative interfaces while you're building contact forms. And you can either go, give me a blank form, give me a simple contact form, or give me a suggestion form. We're starting to see this trend where people are saying, I'm just gonna make it really easy for you to build a contact form. And then of course, unlock pre-made form templates upgrade, and you can get this stuff. Now, I like Syed, I like the team over at Awesome Motive. I think they do a great job. But this contact form is going to plug in, is going to hit you with a lot of upgrades, right? Uh, naturally so, they feel like they've got a form uh, plugin that's going to do, uh, you know, a great job. Hold on, let me just type in basic contact form. But if you are using this contact form uh, in a consulting capacity and you're, you know, you want to use these contact forms for, you know, for free on other client sites, just be aware that um, a lot of these upgrade requests you might start having to field questions from your from your customer, that kind of thing. Or they might feel like, boy, I'm, I'm getting hit with a lot of upsells. Uh, why is that? Uh, that's my feedback to the team at Awesome Motive for uh, the upsells being integrated into this. And I do like this builder, right? I do like this builder. Uh, it's, again, it's very traditional. <laughs> I mean, most of the time we see all of these uh, contact field or these form field buttons on the left hand or on the right hand side. These are all on the left hand side. It's probably because most people are building this stuff into the WordPress admin where the admin bar is on the left hand side and, and it would be too cluttered to do that kind of thing. Uh, but I like it. It's clean. Um, it's easy to manage. I can understand it. I can read it. Um, and uh, it feels just like their opt-in monster interface. So this tells me, again, this is inside baseball if you care about this kind of thing. This tells me that there'll probably be a hosted version of uh, contact forms from from the Awesome Motive team sometime soon. You can kind of expect that probably from Syed and his team over there where you'll be able to insert your contact form on any website uh, on the web without it. You can see here that you don't have access to all of these fields. So again, this is a limiting factor when you look at some other free field form 
plugins that are out there, you know, basic things like address, website URL. If I click that, I am going to get hit with an upgrade to pro, which, uh, you know, again, can get sort of uh, get in the way sometimes. Uh, but all of your basic forms are here for free to build a contact form. And uh, you can drag, drag and drop these things around. Um, if you click on them, you can edit the field options. You can do the description, the labels, um, the advanced field size, very familiar in the same thing from gravity forms with medium, small, large. Uh, format, first, last, simple. Again, very traditional uh, options here. We move over to the settings. We have the general settings. Again, form title, form description. Uh, do we want what? What do we want this the submit button to say? Um, what happens when it processes? Uh, is it saying sending? Uh, you know, please wait while we send over your, um, you know, your submission. That kind of thing. Uh, and then the notifications. Where the, where is this email going to? Um, smart tags. You're pulling in the name and email from the form itself. Um, turning the notifications on or off, all of that fun stuff. And then the confirmation. Do we want to have just a message that says, thanks for contacting us, we'll be in touch uh, shortly, and you can override that, you can type that in. Or you can go to a page. Um, what page do you want to show? Do you want to show a thank you page, a checkout page, that kind of thing? Or do you want to go to a URL totally uh, you know, not in your WordPress uh, website? Um, marketing. I think the folks uh, over at WP Forms could take a, a, a page out of the... Um, Ninja Forms uh, book, and instead of locking this out to say upgrade to pro, um, you show the add-ons that you have here. And again, that's my own opinion and feedback here. And same thing with the payments. Um, you can't see what payment gateways you can get to. It's just a you know upgrade to pro. And it'll show you here, yes, uh, but it'd be nice where we're not going off uh, off-site to, uh, to do that. Uh, speaking of pricing, 39 bucks to get it on, on uh, one site on uh, unlimited forms, unlimited entries, that kind of thing. 99 a year gets you everything plus uh, the MailChimp, AWeber, Get Response, and Campaign Monitor across three sites. Pro gets you everything. Uh, 199 a year gets you uh, all of the add-ons that they're creating uh, across unlimited sites. And oh, by the way, save 20% off if you use that coupon right now. Um, save, embed, boom. Here is the, the big short code. I like this, right? I like the fact that it's big, it's in your face for the beginner. Uh, you can't miss it. Uh, I do it. I do like that about their, their user interface. It's very much, um, a, a nice balance between advanced user and beginner user, um, and sort of teaching you along the way. So if you don't even know what, like how to copy and paste the short code here, there's a video that you can watch. So let's go ahead and copy that. Let's exit their builder interface. Go over to the home page. Whoops, home page. Drop this bad boy in. Take a look at it. Clear out the other stuff I had set up before. I'm going to paste that in. And again, there's their button. I can click that button. I can pick from which one I want to show. Show form title, show description, that kind of thing. Add it in or just paste in this short code right here. I can hit update. View it on the page. There it is. Straightforward contact form, super easy to set up. Again, my only feedback is you're going to get hit with a lot of pro upsells. Uh, it's something that, uh, look, I can't fault them for it. They feel like they have a strong product and they do have a strong product. They want people to upgrade. They want people to get access uh, to other features. Um, but again, just sharing my opinion on these contact forms as I wrap up the series. I think that uh, WP Forms Lite is very much about the uh, the marketing and, and perhaps the marketing automation and, and future sort of integrations as we see. Uh, I think that that's their opinion on building the software. I think that that's why you'd probably want to use this. Um, although their interface is super clean and easy to use. Um, so that is a, uh, that's a bonus to them. Uh, again, I feel like Caldera was very opinionated on very much for the developer focus. Um, they all forms do almost all the same things nowadays, um, except for the really basic ones like Jetpack and Contact Form 7. These are all integrating into MailChimp. They're all having some way to process a payment. Um, and based on, uh, you can watch these videos, you can see which interfaces you like the most. Um, you can see which company you want to do business with. Again, if you're doing something in the ecosystem of an opt-in monster and you're already using their support, maybe this Forms plugin makes sense to you, um, and you're already you're already paying Awesome Motive for some software. Why not continue that um, so that you're going to get support from the same team? They're going to work well together. That kind of thing. 
It's WP Forms Lite. You can get that for free over in the WordPress repo. I hope you enjoyed this series of contact form uh, plugins for WordPress. If you do, share this with friends and family. Subscribe to Plugin Tut. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later.